okay so in this uh, lecture we are going to discuss about congruence relation so before so we will now simply define it what is mean by congruence relation i will take a b and a and b to be integers and i will take n to be some natural numbers means n is a natural number means n starts from 1 2 3 up to and so on then we will say that two integers are congruent now we are going to make two numbers congruent okay the two integers a and b are said to be congruent modulo n if a minus b is divisible by if a minus b is divisible by n so i will take the difference of the two numbers and then i will check that is this difference divisible by the given number n suppose it is yes then i will say that a is congruent to b modulo n okay we denote it by a congruent to b in bracket i will write modulo n so these three lines means i will say a congruent to b that is a that is a notation for congruent now let me take one very simple example is 7 congruent to 3 modulo 4 let us try to answer this question is the is the congruence correct or not correct so this 7 is a and this 3 is b and this is n now look at the difference between a a and b what is a minus b a minus b means 7 minus 3 means it is how much it is 4 so a minus b is 4 is a minus b divisible by n what is a minus b that is is 4 divisible by what is value of n the value of n is how much the value of n is also 4 so is 4 divisible by 4 the answer is yes you can divide 4 by 4 the answer is yes so this means that 7 is congruent to 3 modulo 4 let me take one more example is 11 congruent to 5 modulo 2 is this correct or not so let us try to solve what is a minus b what is 11 minus 5 do that first 11 minus 5 is how much 6 ask yourself a question is 6 which is a minus b divisible by n who is n in this problem is 6 divisible by 2 can you divide the number 6 by 2 and do you get the integer as a division yes 6 is divisible by 2 therefore this means that 11 and 5 are congruent to each other modulo 2 this is correct now let us take some example in which they are not congruent example is 17 congruent to 5 modulo 7 let us see why the answer is no so calculate what is 17 minus 5 in your mind 
ask yourself is is 12 divisible by 7 completely because if i do the division what will happen i will get some remainder when i divide 12 by 7 i'm going to get the remainder some remainder means this means that 12 is not divisible by 7 completely okay so the answer to this question is no which means that 17 is not congruent to 5 modulo 7. This is how you check the two numbers A and B are congruent modulo 7, modulo N. Okay, now we are going to discuss about some properties um, of uh, congruence. So let me write properties. of congruence relation so the first property is that if a is congruent to b modulo n now all of us know what is the meaning of a congruent to b modulo n the meaning is that a minus b is divisible by n and C is congruent to D modulo N, then I can add them. A plus C is also congruent to B plus D modulo N. Now let us see the justification of this simple property. It's very easy. A congruent to B modulo N means n divides a minus b means a minus b is divisible by n this is the notation for a minus b is divisible by n means i will write it as n divides a minus b similarly i know that i will call this equation one similarly i know that c is congruent to d modulo n therefore what can i say about this this means that c minus d is divisible by n which is the same thing to say that n divides c minus d. So if I look at equation 1 and equation 2 carefully, I am having n divides a minus b. I am also having n divides c minus d. Now we have done some properties about divisibility in our previous classes. And, and we know that the property that we have seen in our divisibility classes is that if a divides b and if a divides c then a also divides their addition correct this is a property that we have seen in the divisibility lecture so here i will use that property by using equation one and two i can now see that n divides a minus b and n also divides c minus d therefore i can say that n also divides the addition of these two people what is the addition of these two people? It is a minus b and c minus d. So I'm getting n divides a minus b plus c minus d. And now I'll separate the people uh, smartly. So I will get this. This means that a minus b plus c minus d. And I will rearrange the terms and I will get n divides a plus c minus in bracket. And I will get b plus d. Okay, because both have minus signs. So this will mean a plus n divides a minus a plus c minus b plus c which is same thing to say that a plus c minus b plus d is divisible by what this is divisible by n and in the language of congruence if i get something minus something is divisible by n what is the uh, how will i write this in the words of congruence this means that a plus c is congruent to b plus d modulo n so i got what i wanted that if a is congruent to b and if c is congruent to d then a plus c will also be congruent to what a plus c will be congruent to b plus d right if i instead of adding in the equation one if i here what i have is i have added equation one and two so i've got n divides a plus b plus c minus d okay instead of adding if i subtract them so from 1 and 2 also, from 1 and 2, let me write 1 and 2 again for our reference. 
the equation one was n divides a minus b and n divides a n divides c minus b. so instead of adding i will do the subtraction of them so this means n also divides the subtraction of the two numbers because we know that n divides any linear combination of the two numbers so this is a linear combination subtraction is also a linear combination so n divides c minus b with a minus sign in the between and so let me write here subtraction and this means that n divides a minus b plus c plus d minus c plus d sorry and this means that n divides a minus c minus in the bracket i will have what b minus d and this means that a minus c minus b minus d is divisible by the number n in the language of congruence now what i will write in the language of congruence i will write that a minus c is congruent to b minus d modulo n so in the first property we have proved that addition is also possible of congruences and subtraction of congruences is, is also possible right so in general i will write conclusion of this entire thing is what is the conclusion if a divide a is congruent to b and c is congruent to d modulo n both are modulo n then what have we proved in the above exercise we have proved that a plus minus c you add them or you subtract them it will be again congruent to b plus minus d modulo n now now remember that don't take this result in in other way don't write it like this that a plus c is congruent to b minus d this is also allowed no this is not allowed either you add both of them or you subtract both of them don't do addition one side and subtraction one side that will create a problem so this these two properties are very important when we solve problems next property we want to prove is that if a is congruent to b modulo n and c is congruent to d modulo n then what we want to do is we want to actually multiply these congruences then we want to prove that a into c is congruent to b into d modulo n this property we want to prove now okay so let me start with the given data what is given to us a is congruent to b and c is congruent to d so let me write the proof so a is given a is congruent to b modulo n the meaning of this is n divides a minus b what is the meaning of n divides a minus b means a minus b is n multiplied by some k1 where k1 is integer this is the this is the definition of n divides a minus b so i will call this equation 1 i am also given that c is congruent to d modulo n this means n divides c minus d and this means that c minus d is equal to n multiplied by k2 where k2 is also some integer and this i am going to call equation number 2 okay now having this equation 1 and 2 i will start with one left hand side and i will try to reach the right hand side let us see what we get so consider remember what we want to prove what we want to prove is i will just scroll up and go back what we want to prove is we want to prove that ac is congruent to bd mod n so somewhere i have to start concentrating on ac minus bd right because when i want to prove that these two people are congruent what is the thing that we want to actually prove we want to prove that ac minus bd is divisible by n that is what we want to prove that is the reason i will start with what i will start with the computations from ac minus bd i hope it is clear why i am starting with ac minus bd why because if i want to prove ac minus ac is congruent to bd modulo n 
it means that i want to prove that ac minus bd is divisible by n that's the reason this term comes in my mind ac minus bd so i will start with the left hand side now so consider ac minus bd this ac minus bd i am going to make some adjustment now okay what is that admission uh, adjustment i am going to adjust one term by subtracting that term and again adding the same term and keeping the meaning of the expression same so when i subtract that quantity and when i add that quantity the meaning of the expression is not going to change because this star is going to cancel the star right so what star should i substitute here so here instead of writing that star i will add and subtract a quantity which is bc plus bc minus bd so i have added and subtracted what add and subtract bc in many derivations you have always seen that to to make this expression simplify you add some quantity and you subtract some quantity and that helps you in your further computations now i will pair them up and i will pair them up as ac minus b into c plus b into c minus b into d which is equal to c is out of the picture a minus b plus here b is out of the picture c minus d once i reach this step now i will recall what is my equation 1 and from here i have my equation 2 what was equation 1 and what was equation 2 i will scroll up a little bit equation 1 was a minus b is equal to n k 1 and equation 2 is what c minus d can be replaced by n k 2 so i will substitute the equation 1 and equation 2 over there in the latest step so when i scroll down i see that this can be now written as what c into bracket instead of a minus b i am going to write n k 1 plus b into bracket c minus d can be replaced by what it can be replaced by n k 2 in these people i can take uh, n common n is a common person multiplied by this is c k 1 whatever is left i am going to write inside the bracket plus b k 2 this c k 1 plus b k 2 i am going to call some different integer i am going to call it k 3 who is k 3 in this expression the k the value of k 3 is c k 1 plus b k 2 okay so we have reached up to here and this will become my this i'm going to say is my right hand side so when i have my left hand side what was my left hand side let me write what is my left hand side left hand side is equal to right hand side what is our left hand side we started with which expression we started with ac minus bd correct ac minus bd it is equal to what is the right hand side n multiplied by k3 the meaning of this expression is that ac minus bd is equal to nk3 means n divides you know k3 is an integer correct n divides ac minus bd in words if i try to write this it is trying to tell me that ac minus bd is divisible by n which equivalently in the words of congruence it tells me that if ac minus bd is divisible by n that is to say that ac and bd are congruent to each other modulo n and this is what we wanted to prove that if a and b are congruent c and d are congruent then multiplication ac and multiplication bd are also congruent modulo n. 